up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. And today I'm gonna show you how you can use the Google Translate app to translate any language into any other language. And this also includes things like symbols, Japanese symbols or Korean symbols or those types of languages. I don't fully understand what they are or what they're called, but all I know is you can use this app to translate those into English, which is the language that I speak or vice versa, however you wanna do it. But this app could be extremely useful if you're traveling or if you're in a different country or you're learning a language or those types of things. So let's hop on my phone and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is download the Google Translate app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. The Google Translate app will look like this one towards the middle of my screen with a G on it. And then we can open that up and up at the top you will see Japanese and English. So you can tap on Japanese and then select whatever language you're trying to translate. So in this instance, I want to translate Japanese. And then on the right side, you can select the language that you want to translate it to. So there's tons to pick from. I want to translate it to English. And then I could tap right below that and enter text. But in this instance, I don't know what the text is or it may be difficult to type. So what I wanna do is tap that camera icon the camera icon below where it says enter text. Now you may need to allow access to your camera or microphone to do this, so go ahead and do that. And then in the middle of the screen, you'll see where it says align text. So a few days ago, some friends and I were listening to K-pop, we were listening to BTS, and one of their songs is just symbols, and we had no idea what that means. So these are the symbols right here towards the middle of the screen. So what we can do, and this should work for any type of symbol, whether you're looking at a street sign or reading a book or whatever it is. You just wanna align the text like this and then you can hit the camera button in the bottom middle. And it's gonna sort of scan the screen. It's gonna scan all of the letters on the screen. So I'm simply gonna put my finger on the screen and move it over the symbols that I want to see. And we can see right here, it translates that right away on the top of the screen. We'll see blood, sweat, tears. So that's what those symbols mean. It means blood, sweat, tears. I'll go ahead and do it again just so we can get an idea of how fast you can do it. Accidentally got the Japanese in there. You can see that. You can see the blue got highlighted. So it says blood, sweat, tears, Japanese. You can re-highlight that to blood, sweat, tears. Now I'm just gonna hit back on the top left of the screen. Hit back again. And you can see down here that it'll save your previous searches. Now let's go ahead and try a more difficult one. Okay, so I've went ahead and Googled street sign in Japanese. So let's go ahead and take a photo of this and let's see if we can see what it says. So highlight that. It says, accept bicycles. Way traffic. How to remove bicycles traffic. <laughs> excluding bicycles traffic okay so that kind of makes sense when i highlight it all so it's basically saying traffic this way no bicycles i think but i think this is definitely somewhat helpful where i would never be able to read anything on this sign and then i can simply take a photo highlight that and see somewhat what it says or get an idea of what it means so there's an overview of how to use the camera and highlighting in the google translate app and there you have it, how to translate any language into another language so that you can actually read it. Using the Google Translate app, it's extremely easy to use and extremely effective. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily videos on mobile apps, tech, social media, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.